With more than 12 million visitors a year, Scottsdale Fashion Square is among the busiest malls in the country. I think it's like number 24 on the list. It's one of the top ones for sure. And now the mall's owners are trying to get permission to expand out and up. But as 3TV's Derek Stahl reports, some neighbors aren't too happy about it. Derek. Yeah, good evening. A lot of people actually choose to live near Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall because of all the great shopping, dining, and nightlife. But a proposal to expand the mall is getting some pushback. Developers want permission to build up to 150, 150 feet high on the north side here near the Harkins Theater. That would be five stories taller than the mall is now. Everywhere you look, there is lush green landscaping all over the nearly 700 condos at Optima Camel View. It was a beautiful building, the plants that are growing up out of the terraces and on the roofs. Kevin Gamble says the plants are one of the main reasons he bought his unit near Highland Avenue and Scottsdale Road, and one of the main reasons he opposes the proposed development in that dirt lot across the street. The building itself will cast the whole south side of the complex in shade. So wherever there's a 150 foot tall building, we're going to be in the shade and the plants just can't take that. Not to mention the residents. Developers say this project will help secure the long term sustainability of the mall, which generates about 7% of the city's sales tax revenue. They're planning a mix of retail and commercial space, but critics say the plans are vague. Could be a hotel, it could be a department house, it could be a uh, office building. Out of the more than 1 million square feet of development, less than 50,000 square feet of it will be retail. On Friday, several Optima residents submitted a box full of signatures to the Scottsdale City Clerk. This is a David and Goliath story. They're hoping the signatures will bring the project back down to size. So if those residents have enough valid signatures, it would force the developer to get a three-fourths majority of the city council to approve their request for that added height. The city council is expected to vote on that next month. The residents, by the way, tell me they're not opposed to anything above the current mall height of 90 feet. Reporting live, Derek Stahl, 3TV.